some big things have come out of Seattle. Amazon, Starbucks, the cell phone? Yep, these things owe their origins to that iconic structure, Seattle's Space Needle. A very modern obsession, pocket computers, communicators with a story. This is where it all began. Uh, this is where cordless telephones began. This is actually the first cordless telephone ever invented. Unveiled here at the World's Fair, held in Seattle in 1962. One of the amazing things about the products that were shown at the fair was telephone technology. It was a time of optimism. Astronauts were starting to train to go into orbit, and Seattle decided it wanted to be the launch pad for the future. And at the heart of it, a restaurant up in the air with a very, at the time, high-tech need. The Space Needle wanted to give visitors the option to place telephone calls, but there was a problem. See, the top of that structure revolves very slowly, so phones with cords would not have worked. They'd have gotten tangled up. What they needed was a pretty revolutionary solution. It was a very uh, particular and special design. It actually worked by having a loop of wire that was embedded in the plaster walls of the Space Needle. So that way the phone could be picked up throughout the area of the Space Needle by that loop antenna. And then there was an operator nearby at a console who could actually take the call and then process it and send your call wherever you wanted it to go. People must have thought, that's a bit fancy, it's never going to catch on. You never know what people are going to think. Uh, at the time, it was a complete novelty. Nobody had ever seen a cordless telephone before. And I would imagine that many people would have wanted one for themselves to use in the house. Imagine how convenient that would be. But at the time, there was no real plan on putting it into production at all. Despite that, the design took off. This was a cordless phone, not a cell phone, evolving into the cordless handsets we still use today. But that concept of being able to use a phone without worrying about a physical connection, setting in place a course of events that would literally revolutionize and create entire industries, cell phones and their offspring. Also unveiled, a computer and something called a pager. Who'd have known the three would converge one day? We used to call these electronic leashes. <laughs> So, well, that's all these things are now. That's exactly right. Yes, it's the same idea. But yeah, I mean, that was one thing. You just, you can't, there's nowhere to hide. When you look at how it's snowballed over the years, does that give you hope about innovation for the future? Yeah, it does, actually. I mean, I think one of the, one of the ways you can't always predict what's going to happen. The, the computers at this World's Fair were these, you know, the huge univacs that were like the size of a room. And now you've got that computing power in your pocket. I think the ability of people to come up with technologies that end up being integrated into your life more than, you know, having to live in a house with all kinds of push buttons and stuff. I think that's really amazing. Century 22 will surprise us, I'm sure. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, Seattle.